This is the customer. Look how hard it is for the customer to say, what they did yesterday to my car doesn't work very well. And notice this person doesn't care. If the customer's here saying to them, boy, was that a dumb way to put the car on? They go, yes, but that's what the person above me told me to do. Now, who am I going to obey, the customer or? The Deming model is much simpler. The customer is, in a sense, able to communicate with all these for the following reason. And I'll give you a couple quick examples. And, the, and, and this is one I, I, Dr. Deming used directly. He said, you're going to wash off a table. This is your job, is to wash off a table. So I say to you, wash off a table. OK? What do you do to wash off a table? Anyone? You take the rag. Take a rag. Put it under the sink. Put it on the sink. Put soap on it. Put soap. Go to the table. Wipe several times. Yeah. Knocking the dirt off on the floor. Right. <laughs> yeah, or into the hand. And then you go and rinse the rag right. out and you wipe the table off. Okay, is the table now wiped off? Should be. Everybody, does everybody agree the table's now wiped off? Yeah. I'll bet it's not. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. It is wiped off. Right? That's not. No, don't, don't be overly suspicious here. Table's wiped off. How many of you agree the table's wiped off? Okay. First question. You're part of a larger system. What's the first question? I say you wipe off the table. What's the first question? How do I do it? No. Which table? Uh, which table? Why is that important? I don't know what you're doing. Okay. So I'll tell you. It's a, it's, a, it's a white table made of metal. Sitting in the middle of a room. It's the only table in the room. Which room? Why should it be wiped off? Okay. Operating table. Why should it be wiped off? Now, if it's a flow, if it's a process, see, what I'm trying to draw for you here is the difference between a flow chart and a pyramid. In a pyramid, the person above you said, wipe off the table. You said, fine. I wiped off the table. They forgot to tell you it's an operating table. So the patient got sepsis and died. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You did exactly what the person above you told you. In a flow chart, no matter where you are in the chart, what you need to know is, what is the end product? Why are we doing it? Who is relying on me, and who am I serving? Because if you don't have an integrated, if you don't understand the system you're part of, how can you know what you're doing? Which means, guess what? You have to hire people who are told, ask questions. Notice how different this is. Here the answer is, take orders. Now, you come in and you say, well, we could wipe the table off with that stuff you're using. But you know, I noticed recently that there's a brand new antiseptic that's dramatically more powerful. Whose job is it to know that? Anybody in the organization. Anybody in the organization is allowed to say, I read this article yesterday. I think we can improve this. Because they're all equal in the flow chart. They're all necessary. Give you a good example. If you fly on airplanes, you may think the pilot matters. And they do. It's good to have pilots. It's good to have pilots who take off and land safely. It's good to have pilots who know what airport they're going to. It's also good to have mechanics so that the engine doesn't fall off. Because even with a good pilot, if the engine falls off, it is bad. <laughs> OK? I mean, in a sense, it's funny. The first hearing I attended as a freshman in Congress was on a DC-10 which crashed because the bolt broke. And the engine fell off on takeoff. And it crashed and killed 300 people. Chicago. OK? And it turned out the way they were putting the bolt on was wrong and was causing stress and metal fatigue. And they had to change the way they put on every engine and every DC-10 in the world. OK? So it's only when you start realizing that in a modern system, every person matters. If they don't matter, why are they there? It's a key test of how you downsize government. If your job isn't so important, you have to do it brilliantly, why are we keeping you? 
And if it's so important that you have to do it brilliantly, how do we train you and empower you and strengthen you so you can be brilliant? Every person has the potential to be brilliant if they're put in an environment of adequate support. But notice how different that is from this system. I am the important person. You are the unimportant person. So I am the chief pilot flying to London. I get paid lots of money. You are a lowly mechanic who failed to put enough gasoline in or jet fuel. I am now near Iceland. We are running out of fuel. I am a less important pilot than I thought I was. OK? Now, the trick here is to understand that key words explain Deming, but that you have to then say to yourself, why is each word key and how, because, because it has to permeate your life. So that, so that you, each of these habits, each of these patterns becomes part of you. For example, a process is a repetitive series of actions or causes that create some output. I dial the telephone or I type on my computer, or I write out checks once a month. A repetitive series of actions or causes that create some output. A system is a network of processes. I do habit A, then I do habit B, then I do habit C, and they all connect with each other. Your car, in a sense, is a system. It's wheels, it's hydraulics, it's steering mechanisms, it's engine, it's gas tank. And all these various things fit together into a system. Common causes of variation are present all the time and affect every time you, trial may, may confuse you, but if you're trying things out, every time you do something, it is affected by a common cause. If you try to drive into Atlanta between 8 and 9 every morning during the week, you will have a, a similar experience. It's called a traffic jam. Okay, very important, just as an example of common cause. Okay? <coughs> If you arrive at the 24-hour uh, grocery store early enough each morning, you will get there before the newspapers are delivered and be frustrated. There's a common cause here. The correct answer is not to arrive at 5 and wait patiently till the papers get there at 6. The answer is to figure out what time does the paper get there. You see, the, it's very important. The reason it's important is special causes are not present all the time and will only affect some subset of trials. For example, when we have an ice storm, the papers arrive later. Now, when you have a flat tire, even though you're driving into Atlanta on a Sunday and there is no traffic jam, you will be stopped on the way in. That's a special cause. The reason this is important, and this, this to me was the moment, this was for me what Roger Milliken's 25% savings was to him. Because I saw this in, at the Millikan presentation, and they made the following point, which is devastating. And I want you to think it through carefully. 94% of all improvement is from focus on common causes. 6% of all improvement is from focus on special causes. 